Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, from Space Launch Complex 4 at the Kerbal Space Center. The Realistic Design Bureau is proud to bring you Delta IV launch coverage. Today, a Delta IV rocket is fueled and ready to launch the wideband Kerbin satellite for the Kerbal Space Agency. The launch vehicle we use today is a Delta IV 52 rocket or it's a two and a half meter rocket with a one with four 1.25 meter boosters T minus four T minus 30 seconds timer T minus one minute standing by for the T minus one minute confirmation to enter the terminal count phase Mark T minus one minute. Fuel, fuel pumps pressurizing the space, spacecraft pressurizing to fuel levels. Forty-five seconds. Guidance is go. T minus thirty-five seconds. Fuel is off. Fuel has been cut off from the spacecraft. 25 seconds. Spacecraft is nominal. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. We have ignition of the main engine. Three, two, one. And we have liftoff of the wideband Kerbal satellite aboard a Delta IV rocket, enhancing Kerbal communications throughout the Kerbin system. Spacecraft has gone to internal guidance. Internal guidance systems are performing as expected. Roll program is in. We have the pitch program confirmed. Pitch program is starting, 60.1 degree ascent towards orbit. Velocity 170 meters per second. Spacecraft moving at a nominal rate. Solid booster burn, nominal. Approaching Mach 1. Four kilometers in altitude, velocity 320 meters per second, Mach 1, vehicle now going transonic. The four solid rocket boosters are down to a quarter fuel. Standing by for solid rocket motor separation. Solid rocket motors separate in two groups. Standing by for booster burnout. Velocity approaching 500 meters a second. Solid rocket motor separation is confirmed. Boosters have separated as expected. Spacecraft continues to fly with the pitch with the pitch program. Spacecraft performing as expected. Fuel being drained at a nominal rate as the spacecraft moves onto a geostationary transfer. Altitude 21 kilometers. Downrange distance eight and a half, nine and a half, approaching nine and a half kilometers. Downrange distance 12 kilometers, 800 meters per second. Mach 3. Roll maneuver should be in. 
Roll maneuver is in. Spacecraft is rolling around its axis. Mach 3. Approaching Mach 4. Mach 4. Spacecraft is at one and a half kilometers per second. Altitude 47 kilometers. I need to deal with those two. Those two shouldn't be there. Downrange distance, 43 kilometers. Altitude, 54 kilometers. Approaching fairing separation. We have fairing separation. A clean fairing separation on the vehicle as we move into the vacuum of space at 2.2 kilometers per second. Standing by for first stage burnout and second stage ignition, which should take place about eight seconds later. First stage burnout, separation on the first stage Clean first stage SEP. Good ignition on the second stage. Second stage engine powering up. We have confirmation of spacecraft deploy and solar panels deploy. RCS enabled. Velocity 2.8 kilometers per second. Approaching burnout. Approaching geostationary transfer burnout. We have burnout and orientation towards maneuver. Spacecraft is now orienting to face the maneuver as Wideband Kerbal SATCOM coasts towards the apoapsis. As we prepare to deploy antenna, it has two, two antenna from the AIES pack. These antenna are deployed to assist in communications with the omnidirectional antenna. These are the two main dishes. Spacecraft is approaching maneuver and we should begin the coast phase shortly. We are into the coasting phase. Spacecraft flight is nominal as, as we coast up to apoapsis. Maintaining nominal communications with mission control. And we should have an uplink to the other communication satellite. Approaching final, approaching the orbital insertion burn. One thing the spacecraft will have to fix for the next mission is the lack of monopropellant. Standing by for circularization burn in 
We have circularization burn. Spacecraft is approaching geosynchronous orbit. This is Wideband Kerbin SATCOM 1. As we approach orbital circularization, Wideband Kerbal SATCOM 1 has achieved a geosynchronous orbit with an orbital period of 1 hour 50 minutes. And we have separation of the satellite a good satellite separation. It has a second probe core on it, just due to the fact that we needed it to be a little bit larger. And there's the second, st the cry, the second stage drifting away from the spacecraft. As we begin to initiate the slowdown, the retrofire to slow down the spacecraft. I am Andy Epics for the Realistic Design Bureau reporting on Wideband Kerbal SATCOM 1. The first generation high power Kerbal communication satellite. We're now testing out the spacecraft's ability to communicate. with other spacecraft as we communicate with moon as we can communicate with the moon but we have both of our antenna designated to target Kerbin I am Andy Epics thanking you for watching this latest mission from the Realistic Design Bureau saying having a good day and I bid you a fond farewell.